Hi guys, this is your sister Karen in Jesus Christ. Wow, okay, brothers and sisters. Um a lot of people, a lot of sorry, I shouldn't say people, I meant to say brothers and sisters in the most high yeah, in our heavenly father, have been inquiring um, <clears throat> and asking Sister Karen. We notice that you're now wearing white, okay? You are wearing white. Um, what's going on? Sort of thing like. And brothers and sisters, on this around about the 19th, either the 17th or the 19th of uh of July 2020, the Lord spoke and he, he said to me, Daughter, wear white. And I felt in my spirit, I felt really, really comfortable with that. I didn't question the Lord about it or anything like that. Now, in terms of white, <laughs> from my previous videos, brothers and sisters, okay, you will know that um, <clears throat> you will know that the various colors that I used to wear okay from my pre previous videos that i've done and i love my colors you know if i wear a blue top i like to wear a blue headscarf or if it's a orange top it's a orange headscarf something like that i like the matching and the colors were, were nice you know colorful girl i am a very colorful person and so therefore you know i really love the, the, the various colors that i do for my youtube uh, videos and I have worn white before uh, this was before the most I spoke to me I, the first time I wore white I think it was a video that I did I have to go back I think it's one that I did concerning Donald Trump this year and I wore white I wore white and you know after I finished that video and I went through the video and everything like that, I was looking at it and I'm thinking to myself, mm, I'm not really sure about this white thing, okay? Wearing all white. Um, because I had this notion in the back of my head that, I don't know, I don't know. I just, I, it felt... I didn't feel comfortable in the white back then. This was before Yas spoke to me. <laughs> Sorry. <clears throat> I didn't feel comfortable in the white back then. Then how I, like how I feel now, okay? And I kind of scrutinized myself and I thought, mm, I'm going to try to avoid wearing white. So up until then, because I started wearing, uh, started wearing white about two weeks ago, I would say. Yeah. You can go back through my videos. I think it was about in July, back ending of July. Yeah, yeah, back ending of July, July time. I started going all white. And um, and so when I did that, I think it was a Donald Trump video in, in May sometime or something like that. I can't remember when I did that video. And I looked back and I thought... <laughs> white is not me I'm not into wearing all white because I love my colors but then like I say July run about the 17th 19th of July the most I spoke to my heart he spoke to me very, very vividly and he said to me I want you to wear white just like that brothers and sisters and I didn't question it I didn't question it or anything like that I just obeyed and I went out and I said, Lord, the only thing I said, oh, I haven't got a lot of white stuff, you know. Um, so I kind of get few bits and pieces, few little white clothes, pieces. I got some white, you know, things to wear for my YouTube uh, videos. And, um, and so when I started dressing in white, uh, you know, a few brothers and sisters have been commenting and this is a Karen, what suits you, you look lovely and all of this and all of that. But it is a, it is a spiritual thing for me because I, I, it was not me that got up on my own and said, I'm going to wear white. 
It wasn't me, brothers and sisters. This was the move of the Holy Spirit. Now, if you say to me, have the Lord set, give you a reason for you to wear white, for you to wear white, um, I'm going to say no. He hasn't given me a reason, but I'm sure he has a reason. I haven't questioned him or anything like that, to be honest with you. But I might do, I might ask him. I might just say to him, Lord, is there a particular reason? Not that I'm going to change, because I'm not going to change. But I might just say to him, Father, is there a particular reason why you want me to wear all, all white? You know, because his ways and our ways are different. So there must be a reason behind it. Brothers and sisters, there must be a reason behind it why the Most High Yah specifically told me to wear white. Now, in my spirit, thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. In my spirit, I believe that other women, other watchmen and watchwomen, both male and female, will be wearing white as well. I truly believe that. I truly believe that the message that he's going to speak, hallelujah, yes, Lord, that he will be speaking to all the prophets and prophetesses and watchmen and watching women on the wall for him. And you will receive the same message to wear white. Hallelujah. I truly believe that. I truly believe that from the bottom of my heart that Yah is going to speak to you. You know, those YouTubers, there is something that's going on in the spiritual realm, whether the Lord is making a uniform. I'm not sure. Like I said, you know, I don't want to speculate because he has not said to me uh, specifically. He has not said to me specifically you know, the, 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 the main reasons why he has put me in white. But I am glad. I am loving the white. You know, this is the, the, the natural self of me. And I was a bit skeptic. This was, as I said before, before the most I spoke to me, way, way back in May, March sometime, when I wore white. I was a little bit like that. But now, brothers and sisters, hallelujah. It is so spiritual to me. It is so spiritual to me. And, you know, yes, people should be set apart. We should, you know, even the women, us women, really, as coming to the Messiah, we should be set apart because Israel, Israel was set apart. You could know the Israelite women back then in ancient times. You know, you could know them. They were set apart and everything. One of the worst things for me personally, you know, and I'm not judging, you know, it's, this is not a judgmental video for any women out there, any watch, watch women, women on the wall for the Lord. It's not no judgmental videos or anything like that. But I love to see sisters set apart. I want to see a sister doing a YouTube and I can... I can look at her comfortably, you know, I can look at her beautifully and comfortably because I know that that particular sister is, and there's few that I, you know, that I sometimes, if I have the time, I'll go on the channel and I'll watch them and the light and the aura that they have. And one particular sister, I'm going to mention her name, I think she's called Jasmine, Jasmine. She's so beautiful. That woman is so beautiful. She's natural. You don't see her with a bag of makeup, big, massive, whoop earrings, pink eye shadow, lipstick. She is so modest and she's so beautiful. But you see, sometimes the enemy tricks us and, and, and us women, and we think that we've got to dress like the world. You know, as becoming a child of the Most High, yeah, you should be set apart. You should look different. There's one thing that the Lord teaches me, brothers and sisters, because I've done videos concerning modest dressing. And one of the things that the Most High said to me, and this took patience, and I had to wait on him. 
when he called me and he told me to change before I come on YouTube and do my videos, he, he ordered me and he said, I do not want you to wear no makeup. No lipstick, no false hair, no false nails, uh, no blusher on your face, no fake eyelashes. He said, I want you to be natural. Now, I used to wear makeup and I used to lipstick and all sorts. And yeah, when <laughs> you get a boost of confidence, you know, I used to love big, massive earrings. You know, black women, some of us will love the big earrings, the big whoopy. I loved it, brothers and sisters. And one of the things that the Most High gently reminded me, and he told me, he said, daughter, he said, if you trust me, watch this, brothers and sisters. He said that if you trust me, I will beautify you with my salvation. It was hard, brothers and sisters, but I had to trust Yah. And, you know, I don't know if you go back through my old videos, I know that I've changed my camera, my, 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 cause I use my mobile phone to record all my videos and over, over the years, they're updating, updating, updating. So the camera quality becomes better and better and better and better. But for me personally, I can see, I can see the physical change in me, brothers and sisters. I can see the beautification of the Most High Yah in his word when he said that he will beautify the meek with his salvation. You've got to trust him and you've got to stand on that promise. And I, in 2015, brothers and sisters, I had to stand, stand on that promise. I kind of cheated a little bit when the Lord spoke to me because I used to wear, I said, all right, Lord, I won't wear my big OP earrings, but I wear the little knobs. <laughs> and so I cheated and I put in a few little knobs here and there. And I put a little thing, you know, I, um, that mascara, highliner underneath my eyes because I said I wanted to brighten up my eyes and all those foolish until the most I gently break me he break me and i was confident in myself hallelujah i became confident in who i am in the in yeah and so when i go out i i, I, I the last time i wore makeup was 2015 2015 july or something like that really i wore full makeup and big massive whoop earring uh, that was then I don't wear them those things again but it is a training it is a process you know it is a process so nobody just because you come on this channel and I'm all natural or you go on channels like Jasmine Jasmine and she's all natural and other beautiful natural sisters out there that that has YouTube channel don't feel oh you got to change straight because it is a process okay for me it was a process it was challenging but it was worth it and one thing you've got to stand on is that yah will beautify you with his soul he will give you a glow i'm almost finished now but i remember my niece came to my house and when I opened the door, as soon as I opened the door, I never forget this. As soon as I opened the door, the first thing that came out of her mouth was, wow, you look different. But to me, I couldn't say it, you know, and other people can. And sometimes even when I phone my parents in Jamaica, I WhatsApp them and I phone them and I'll speak to my dad and I go on the video and he'll be like, Whoa, you look, you know, you look like an angel, but it, to me, I don't know, because I can't really see it. I know there's a change in me. It's not meant for me to see, but it's for others to see and glorify Yah in heaven. Okay. So this, and I know brothers and sisters have commented and said, Sister Karen, you're glowing. You look beautiful. I receive that, but Father is getting the glory. 
all right because scripture is being fulfilled he will beautify the meek with his salvation and that is both physically and spiritually physically and internally the best beauty a woman could ever wear or the best beauty that a man could ever wear is internal that is so that is priceless okay you got, you got some people are very good looking but inside yeah they're rotten but when you are beautiful hallelujah when you are beautiful from the inside that beauty will shine it will shine for you and then the physical bit you know whatever that comes after okay so yes yeah, so i wanted to come and do this video that's why i wore i wear white now because yah tells me to wear white and i believe he will tell other beautiful brothers and sisters in the most high uh to wear it as well so be bold be strong be courageous walk with yah just like enoch all praises all beautiful praises to the most high yah who lives above the heavens yah eternally bless you i love you all and i will see you soon someday in glory in jesus christ's precious holy name amen and amen amen blessings